How do you go live on LinkedIn? Well, I will show you right here in this video. So let's jump right in. The very first thing you need to do is you need to go to linkedin.com and I'll put the link to this below, but you need to go to linkedin.com and you need to apply for the live video broadcasting. So everybody can't do it. It's currently in beta and they're being selective about who they let in and who doesn't get in. So you have to go to this web page that you can see on my screen. And once you go here, you need to click on the application to fill this out. And it asks a whole bunch of information, but some of the things you need to keep in mind if you want to go live on LinkedIn, you need to make sure that you have a strong application and that includes, have you live streamed other places? What do you want to live stream about? Are you gonna do it daily, weekly, or monthly? So they wanna know that you have a plan to be consistent about using live video on the LinkedIn platform. So that's the first thing you have to do. You have to make sure that, that you filled out that application and that you have submitted it. Now, it takes anywhere from a couple of weeks to a couple of months to, I think some people just can't get in. And so it, it helps to fill out, fill out your application as soon as you can. But once you've filled that out, and if you're lucky, you will get to see your LinkedIn page and you will start to see this LinkedIn Live. So over here on the side, it says LinkedIn Live has now been approved and your profile has access to this. I saw this message about one day before I got a, a message from LinkedIn telling me that they had approved my access for LinkedIn Live. So once you see that, you can now go live on LinkedIn. But here's the catch. You can't go live from LinkedIn.com. You have to use a third party tool, connect that to LinkedIn and push out through that. So that is what I wanted to show about in this video. The best tool that I have seen so far for going live on LinkedIn is called StreamYard. StreamYard.com and again, I'll put a link to this below, but it is free if you only wanna push out to one platform and there are some limitations about it. It doesn't save a, a copy of your video after you've, after you've pushed it out live. So the free version has some limitations, but if you just wanna go live and try it out and get started, StreamYard.com is the way to do that and you can do it for free. So you come to StreamYard.com and I'm logged in, but when you get there, StreamYard.com, click the login button, you enter your email, they actually send you a code to your email and then you use that as your temporary password for the time. And so that's how you get in and once you get in, your screen will look something like this. You may not have a broadcast here. I was just playing around with setting one up, but there are, there are two main parts for your StreamYard. You have your broadcast, these are your live broadcasts. And then you have destinations. So let's jump into destinations first. I have a bunch set up here because I've previously already done this, but once you get in here, just click on add destination and it pulls up a page and it allows you to click on whatever it is that you want to connect to. Do you want a LinkedIn page? Do you want a LinkedIn profile? For this case, we are interested in LinkedIn profile. And so you click on that and you'll sign in with your account and then you'll have it and once you're done, back in destinations, you'll see your LinkedIn profile is there. And if you add some other destinations, like I've got a Facebook page and YouTube, and I've even connected it to Restream, you can add all those in there. Now with a free StreamYard account, you can only go live to one location at a time. There are different upgraded versions of StreamYard, so you can go to two or five different destinations at a time if you want to. But that's what's in destinations. Broadcast, let's go back to broadcast. So if you wanna go live, I'm actually gonna demonstrate, if you created a test broadcast, didn't go live yet, and you don't like it, this is all you need to do to delete that broadcast. Just go delete it. But if you wanna start creating a new broadcast, you come in here and you click create a broadcast. You are not live yet. You're not live anywhere as of yet. You get to click you get to choose your destination. I'm gonna choose LinkedIn. 
And then here's where you get to set your title and description. So this is what other people will see when you go live. So they'll get a notification on their phone or their desktop that says whatever your title and description is. And so I'm going to go over, I'm going to type in demo LinkedIn live with StreamYard. And then I'll just put in a quick description, something quick to demonstrate. There we go. We'll just leave it at that because I'm going to go live for just a very short time with that privacy public or first degree connections only. I'm going to make mine public so that anybody on LinkedIn could see it. If the, if the stream gets shared with other people, you can just have first degree connections only that is up for you to, to decide, click on create broadcast and yet, and you can now see in there that, that you can see my picture and my camera and it tells me the mic is working. So you come into this screen and this is where you help set up your broadcast. I, I come in here and I like to put in my full name and I also like to tell my guests if I'm having a guest on the show, enter your full name because if someone screenshots it or copies and shares this, your full name will appear on the screen and that's a good thing. Then people know who's talking. Once you have this all set up and you can see the mic is working well, you can go to enter broadcast studio. And again, you are still not live. So don't start worrying about, oh, I'm live yet. I need to be, I need to be all good and ready. You don't quite have to be ready yet. You come into the broadcast studio and now you can see this big black screen right here is what's going to show when other people see your live stream. And right now there's nothing in there. And that's, that's how you want it. But at the bottom, you will see there's a couple of things. Well, in this case, there's just only one. Add to stream. And it says you're not part of the stream yet. I'm going to close that down. If I want my face and my video to show up in the stream, I need to click on that. And now you will see it is there. You'll notice a couple of other things that you can see. There's a small little logo. I have my name up there. If you want to add some of these things into your stream, go over on the right hand side of the screen and there's a banners link and you can add example banners in there and you can show them and hide them. So I have a banner that says demo StreamYard and LinkedIn live. I click on that and it shows a banner across the bottom. I'm actually going to leave that up because then when I go live to LinkedIn, people will know what it is. And the next one you can do is something about your brand. You can set your brand colors. So you'll notice that my, my uh, banner coming across is red. I've set that up. I like that color. So that's what I use it. You can have different themes, minimal or the default theme. I kind of like the default theme. It shows a little bit more red across the screen. And you can also add a logo that will appear in the upper right. There's my logo. And even looking at it, I should maybe make my logo a little bit bigger, a little bit easier to read, but that's what it is. And that's how you make one show up. You can have some overlay things show up, or you can change a little bit of the background. I'm not going to worry about those for right now. And you can have private chat with your guests. So here's another important thing. How do you bring a guest? onto your show with StreamYard. It's really easy once you're in the broadcast studio. You click on this invite button at the bottom and it gives you a link. Then you take that link and you email it, you text it, you share it with whoever you want on your show. You, you LinkedIn message it to them. They click on that link and they will show up on a screen that looks very similar to the broadcast studio that I'm showing and I'm demoing you right here. When they click that link, they are not automatically live on the screen. So they will appear down here right next to your face, right next to your camera. And they aren't actually live on your stream until you click the button, until you click on their face. Like this one says remove from stream. A new one will say add to stream. You gotta click on them. Then they show up on the screen with you. But here I'm going to show you what it's like to go live. We're just going to go live really quick out on LinkedIn 
say hello and say good morning to the people. And if you have a guest, you can go, you can wait till they join you and both go live at the same time. Or you can go live first, send the link, and then let them join in later in the show and then kick them out once you are done with them and maybe want to go on to the next guest, however that works. But let's go live on LinkedIn and let's see what happens. So there's the go live button in the upper right. You click on that link and then you end up going live. Hey, good morning, LinkedIn. I'm just going live really quick this morning. Couple things, one, I'm shooting a demo video of how you go live on LinkedIn with StreamYard. And the other thing I'm doing is, I just wanted to tell everybody on LinkedIn, I'm gonna be doing a series of interviews this week. I have one scheduled for Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. I'm hoping to get one on Wednesday as well at 10 a.m. So I'd love it if you tune in to watch about them. We're gonna talk about, Friday is about working from home. Tuesday, tomorrow, we're gonna talk about what are the opportunities available during this coronavirus environment that we are in. And then on, on Thursday, we're gonna talk a little bit about marketing and how do you market in this time and how do you market in general. So we got some good ones coming up. And that's about all I wanted to say. Uh, one catch when you are live on LinkedIn, you don't actually get to see, you don't actually get to see your comments in StreamYard, so you have to pull that up. I like to watch them on my phone. Check that for comments to see what's coming in and who's there. But anyhow, if you're on LinkedIn, I'm gonna be doing some live interviews later this week, so I'd love to see you join those. Right now, I was just doing a quick demo and I'm shooting a video for how do you use StreamYard and LinkedIn Live. But have, have a great day, folks. That's where I'm gonna end my live. I'll probably be back live tomorrow morning and maybe even later today if I have something else. Anyhow, thanks for watching and see you later this week. And then when you're done, click on end of broadcast. That's all it took. And I went live and you notice it was live. One thing to note when you go live, the version that you're seeing on LinkedIn is usually a couple seconds behind what's actually happening right in your room, right in front of your camera. So there's a little bit of a delay there. It takes time to send the information from your computer to StreamYard, from StreamYard to LinkedIn, and then LinkedIn processes and pushes it out. So there is a little bit of a delay there, but that's really all it took to go live. And once your broadcast has ended, it tells me it's ended and I'm no longer live. I can return to my dashboard and there aren't any upcoming broadcasts. I can see past broadcasts and this is where you can go and you can see what just happened. I have a couple of live streams I've previously done, but here's information about the one that I currently have that I just did the demo. And if I wanted to download that, now this is an upgraded version of StreamYard, but if you have an upgraded account with StreamYard, you can download that recording and you can save it and you can chop it up and put, you know, put small clips out on LinkedIn or out on Instagram, or you can put the whole video out on YouTube if you want to, but it allows you to download that video that you just recorded. But that's where I wanted to end. That's what StreamYard is. That's how you go live on LinkedIn. And I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day and good luck with your LinkedIn live video.